Hello, everybody. Um, this is Amin Moja Ra. <clears throat> and this is a tutorial, um, I think, that it will help everybody. Um, it's about um, installing multiple Drupal sites on one instance. Basically, um, having multiple domains point to one um, Drupal folder, uh, one Drupal sites folder, and being able to run uh, multiple Drupal sites um, from one root folder, basically, multiple domains. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to go through the process of doing this. Um, so first, what you want to make sure is that all your domains are on the same name server. So um, here I am at GoDaddy right here. And the two domains I'm going to I'm going to use are um, Metamorphosis uh, Motorsports.com and MaybachMedia.com. So if I go into MaybachMedia.com, what you will see is, is that they both, it, this has a uh, a name server of ie3.imaginationeverywhere.info and ie4.imaginationeverywhere.info. And if I switch domains, um, go back and I switch domains and I go back to uh, Maybach Media. It has the same name servers, IE3 and IE4. So they both are pointing to the name, same IP addresses, basically. Uh, <clears throat> so you definitely want to have your IP addresses and name servers set up. So both of these domains are pointing towards the same thing. So the primary domain, um, you could have, it could either be one or the other. Um, I'm choosing to have Metamorphosis Motorsports as a primary domain. So inside Plesk, and also you can do this in cPanel also. Um, cPanel, um, they're called park domains. But inside Plesk, what you do is you go to the domain that you want to have as your primary domain, which in this case is going to be uh, Metamorphosis Motorsports. So I'm going to go there. And um, after I've set up the hosting and all that, I'm going to go to Website and Domains, and down here, um, what I do is I create an alias, a domain alias, um, add new domain alias. Once I click on that, just type in the domain name, the other domain name. In this case, it would be Maybach Media. I've already created that, so I can get out of that. And here it is down here. So it's MaybachMedia.com, and it's uh, it's it has a DNS zone, all that stuff. So um, you don't have to create another domain for Maybach Media or for that second domain. So um, basically, here are the two domains, and the primary domain is um, that has the root folder, that has the HTTP docs folder or public HTML or whatever your your root folder is. That's the primary do domain. <clears throat> so doing that, make sure you also create two databases. So I've created two databases, one for Maybach Media and one for uh, uh, Metamorphosis Motorsports. And so then the only other thing you have to do after that is get your Drupal instance, which I have here. I'm inside of my Metamorphosis Motorsports. So if I do a T P W D inside of SSH, so I have here's my root uh, the host metamorphosis motorsports dot com slash http doc slash site. So if I go up one level, you can see I have Drupal. Um, I've put all the files for Drupal inside my http docs folder. Now I got to go to 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 the sites directory. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the default folder. So I'm going to go cp-r uh, default. And then I'm going to name both of my folders. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to name a directory for both metamorphosismotorsports.com and maybachmedia.com. So I'm going to go metamorphosismotor sports.com and then hit that and then cp-r 
default and then may back media dot com and so if I do ALS I have those so you have to have the folders named exactly what the domain names are so now what I'm gonna do is go inside of each of these folders and create my settings.php in my files uh, directory so first I'm gonna go into metamorphosis motorsports.com and CP let me list let me show you what I have in there so I have the default settings.php so I'm gonna go CP and then default settings.php and then name that into to settings .php and then I'm gonna make a directory called files and then I'm gonna change the permissions in order to install Drupal and then I'm gonna go ahead and go into uh, Maybach Media and do the same thing Okay, so now I'm ready to install my sites. So just to show you that it works, let's do the primary directory first. Let's go to metamorphosismotorsports.com. So we're ready to install. Put in my database name. Password, username and password for the database. Hit continue. It's installing. back and uh, change the all right had to change the file permissions for the settings file and then refresh the page and now we're ready so I'm ready to name this site password and then voila I'm done with the first one so now that I'm done with the first one So I have Metamorphosis Motorsports, as you can see. Now I just type in MaybachMedia.com, and I should be able to do a separate uh, Drupal instance. And voila! So here we go. Put in my database name. database username password hit continue 
it will install my Drupal instance. course I need to go back and uh, change my settings for this all right and refresh Okay, passwords match, United States, and now I have two websites running off of one Drupal instance. Two websites running off of one Drupal instance, uh, yes I want to see my site, and voila, here we go. So, um... The way I did this was through my control panel, which I'm using my domain control panel is Plask. But you can also use um, cPanel and uh, HostGator has a has a has a um, uh, uh, tutorials on both parking domains in cPanel um, and aliasing domains in Plask. So um, you alias them in Plask and you park them in cPanel. Um, but uh, either way, um, you this is how you get multiple Drupal instances. And Drupal has an article, um, has a blog post on this, multiple sites, multi-site setup using a single Drupal instance. And it takes you through it. But they only talk about the part, um, part in cPanel. So that's why I'm mentioning that in Plask, um, you call it domain aliasing, aliasing, uh, however you pronounce it. So, um, of course, there's more to multi-site thing as far as m modules and themes and stuff like that. And I plan to do some future videos on that. But I just wanted to show you that you can install. You can have two domains pointing at one root folder for Drupal. And installing two Drupal sites, you have to have two databases. But all you need is one set of Drupal files. Thank you, and uh, glad you watched the video.